Got a new butane stove I'm gonna check out today. This is made by Gas One. It's the model 3700, and it's a good size stove in my opinion. It's not huge, but it's not tiny either. But it's certainly a great size uh, for car camping. Comes in this little carrying case. Um, you know, I wouldn't be taking this on a backpacking trip. And uh, I might take it on a canoe trip that doesn't have a lot of portages, but it's certainly ideal, you know, maybe in your fishing boat, stop for a shore lunch, quick, easy way to heat stuff up. We'll just take it out here and have a look. Weighs about three pounds, so it's not very heavy at all and uh, looks pretty durable. Let's just get our measuring tape out here and see it's about 12 and a half, almost 13 inches that way, 11 inches and about three inches high. So fairly compact and the grilling surface looks like you can easily put ooh, a 10 inch skillet on there. So lots of room, uh, you know, and like all the other gas one uh, stoves, it features a removable uh, grilling surface which has this kind of wind deflector around there to, to keep the flames going there's like a little drip tray underneath for any extra spills and the fact that it comes off is great for cleaning and then of course in this side is where the butane cylinder goes so uh, we have a butane cylinder here and basically they hook up the same way most these stoves do these cylinders have a little notch in the top and in the fuel canister area, there's this little spring-loaded latch. So you basically line up the notch with the latch, slide it in there. So that's the orientation. Then to lock it in, you slide this lever all the way down, pulls the canister forward, locks it in place, and now it's hooked up with the fuel regulator and the fuel can come in to the burner. Now these stoves, come with a automatic lighting system. You basically just have to turn this knob down to where it says ignite and it should start. So let's just make sure it's on a level surface. We'll turn it around all the way down. It starts right away. Now we'll do a little experiment here. In this pan I have two cups of water, that's on high, we'll put it on top, time it, see how long it takes to get to a rapid boil. So, it's on there, I'll get my phone out, start the timer. Okay, so that's just over two and a half minutes on the timer, and we're just getting some small bubbles starting on the bottom. Okay, it's really going now, I don't know if you can see this timer in this light, but it's showing me about three minutes and eight seconds. So just over three minutes, like three minutes, 15 seconds. It's a nice rapid boil. So there you have it. This stove seems to do the job. It takes just over three minutes to get the water boiling. And the stove itself, it's a good size. It's kind of compact, not too heavy. Uh, it seems to be well built. In my opinion, this is the perfect stove for front country camping or car camping.